Hi, I'm Gretchen. This is day four, part one of the Servant Program. Today we're going to talk about physical versus spiritual desires. And here's the first question. Is your desire physical or is it spiritual? We have physical and spiritual desires. Our most general physical desire is for health. Health is physical sustainability. It is continuous life. When the body is balanced, it is healthy. So is your desire for general physical health? Conflict arises when our bodies are imbalanced. We experience physical sorrow. This is continuous pain. So is your body imbalanced? Are you struggling with your general health? Are you experiencing continuous pain? The body can be categorized by its various systems. We'll use the following as examples. These four physical systems. The cardiorespiratory system, the optical system, the auditory system, and the digestive system. What are some of the other systems of the body? If your desire is physical, in which system would you categorize it? Specific health is achieved in each system when that system is balanced. This is when we have a physical strength. So what are some of your physical strengths? Take some time to write those down and then come back. When we have a physical strength, we have the desire to be a cause in that area to reach out and balance another who is weak in that same area. So does your desire stem from your physical strength? Conflict arises when a specific physical system is imbalanced. This is when we have a physical weakness. So what are some of your physical weaknesses? When we have a physical weakness, we have the desire to be balanced by a cause who is strong in that same area. Does your desire stem from your physical weakness? Our most general spiritual desire is for spiritual health. Spiritual health is what we've been talking about in days one through three. It is the sustainability of joy. It is our inherent balance. When the spirit is balanced, it is healthy. So is your desire for general spiritual health? Conflict arises when our spiritual body is imbalanced, as we've already discussed in day three. We experience spiritual pain. This is continuous sorrow. So is your spiritual body imbalanced? Are you struggling with your general spiritual health? Are you experiencing continuous sorrow? The physical body is a metaphor of the spiritual body. The spirit can also be categorized by specific systems. So when we apply what we know about our physical systems to our spiritual and then vice versa, our knowledge of both is increased. Each spiritual system represents a spiritual ability, a characteristic a talent, a gift, or a strength. 
So look, let's look at this table. Our physical systems that we chose to use as, an ex as examples um, are on the left side. On the right are the spiritual abilities that are the counterparts of that phys the physical system. So our cardiorespiratory system, um, the spiritual counterpart is charity. That's the name I came up with. Charity is just another name for the sustainability of joy. The optical system, its spiritual counterpart is vision. We can have the gift of vision. The auditory, um, we can have the talent of being a good listener. Digestive, um, the skill or talent is expansion. And I just want to explain what I mean by that. So look at this Wikipedia definition of what digestion is. Digestion is the breakdown of food into smaller components that can be more easily absorbed and assimilated by the body. So expansion is the breakdown of larger concepts or truth into smaller components that can be more easily absorbed and assimilated by the spirit. Expansion is what we have been doing with word mathematics. This process was described in day two. We multiply and divide words in order to access greater knowledge. It's what we've been showing on the black screens with the music playing in between these video clips. The reason why we expand it and leave it expanded like that is because sometimes um, in our conflicts um, we, we're so knotted up and we don't know what the cause is. And so when we expand it and like algebra, um, we we separate the equation into in its specific variables, then we can more readily identify the variable that, that we're having the trouble with. So if you have listed other physical body systems, what are their spiritual counterparts? And if your desire is spiritual, in which system would you categorize it? Specific spiritual health is achieved in each system when it is balanced. This is when we have a particular spiritual strength. So what are your strengths? Again, take a minute to answer that, pause the video, and then come back and continue. When we have a spiritual strength, we have the desire to be a cause in that area to reach out and balance another who is weak in that same area. So does your desire stem from your spiritual strength? Conflict arises when a specific spiritual system is imbalanced. This is when we have a particular spiritual weakness. So what are your weaknesses? When we have spiritual weakness, we have the desire to be balanced by a cause who is strong in that area. It's okay to have spiritual weaknesses. What will prevent us from obtaining our desires is when we refuse to depend on a cause who can teach us and support us in this area where he is strong. So does your desire stem from your spiritual weakness? Are you allowing a cause to help support you and teach you in this area?